Hi, Dennis here. Um, I just wanted to make a video to show how I lapped the cone gears from my Monarch Double E uh, gearbox uh, to fit on the cone gear shaft. This is necessary because a previous owner um, had apparently replaced a gear and unfortunately driven the one of the replacement gears really hard onto the shaft and in so doing scored the shaft and also scored the inside of the gears here. You may be able to see as I rotate this through that there's some fairly deep scores on that uh, gear and if we look over here at the cone gear uh, shaft you can also see um, a pretty deep score here and here and there were numerous other ones. Um, I did uh, dress this shaft down by lapping previously. I'm not going to talk too much about that today, but that was also necessary. But today we're going to uh, I'm going to show how I uh, used this expanding lap um, that I got from um, McMaster Car and used it to um, hone down this gear. First, though, before honing down the gear, it's necessary to remove some of the uh, burrs or sharp edges on the gear uh, where it was pushed onto that shaft and also the keyway had a little bit of a burr raised. So to do that I use this a little diamond uh, tool that's available at many inexpensive uh, tool stores and even uh, fishing uh, stores and so forth, a uh, little diamond cone to take off that sharp edge and that's done simply by um, swiping it through the uh, bore like so. It doesn't take very much to take that edge off um, but it is I think a necessary and important part um, otherwise that edge will really cut into the lap and um, damage the lap. So I just take that edge off just by going around like so and then also on the keyway just use it and um, slide it down through that keyway like so that takes off that edge uh, pretty pretty nicely um, same thing here a little bit flip it around there okay now we're ready to go ahead and uh, turn on the lathe and get that lap spinning so I'll turn on the power here and fire up the motor. We'll be turning at about 400 RPMs. Okay, on the, on the lap here I did apply some diamond paste. It's about 8 to 12 micron size. I'll push a little bit out on my finger here. You can see a little bit of that right there and I just apply it to the lap like so, kind of moving it around. And it'll get distributed by the, the gear pretty nicely. Then with the, gear, with the lap spinning, I just take the gear, slide it on here, and start moving it back and forth and rotating the gear like so. This lap actually gets thicker toward the center as I get down onto the center part of the lap. It's putting a little more uh, spin or attempted spin on that gear. I've actually done a little bit of this lapping before so I probably would have been at this for between five and ten minutes to get this gear down to final lap. But for the interest of this video we'll just stop right now and flip it around. And you can see that I'm going to wipe this out. You can see that there are some shiny spots in there where that lapping action has taken place. And that gear is now a pretty nice smooth. Uh, that gear is a pretty nice fit now on the shaft. Um, slides right on, slides up and down nicely. Um, actually can spin it just a little bit but you can see that it's not so loose that it just spins uh, freely. So that's it as to how this was done. Uh, main points were being sure to deburr these edges so that they don't cut into this brass lap. I made that mistake when I did the first gear, but uh, by deburring these edges that prevents that damage. Um, 
this lap can be expanded a little bit um, as necessary uh, by just turning this screw forward that pushes the lap open. Um, the materials um, I think we went through before but I'll just recap. Um, this uh, is uh, a diamond paste from Diamond Innovations. I know there are many other companies that sell it. Simple little diamond cone, dressing tool, and expanding lap from McMaster Car. I hope this was uh, some information to you. Um, it's one person's approach as to how to do this. Um, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it. This is my first one. You can probably tell. But uh, talk to you later. Bye now.